to another episode of Loud About Nothing. It's me, your boy, the fucking hottest dude in the podcast game, Sebastian Canelli. And as always, we got the cute boy here himself, Robbie Boy. Robbie, say hello. What's going on, Sebastian? What's going on? You're leaving me. I am leaving. You're leaving me. For a few days. You're leaving me to go to... Uh, uh, Park City, Utah. To Utah. Yes. The to- Sundance Film Festival was canceled, which is why I usually go. You um, go to be around Sundance. I go to be around Sundance and be at somewhere that's going to be empty. Sure, I go to I go to L.A. every year for the Academy Awards. Am I there? <laughs> no, but I say, <laughs> like, what are we doing here? Okay, <laughs> so here you're going skiing, right? I'm going skiing, correct. So Robbie's going on a vacation. I'm gonna be alone for a week. You're you're, you're gonna... also going away. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not saying don't, – don't, no, no, no. Don't you fucking dare say that, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. You mind your own business, He's okay? going to be alone. Okay. I'm going to be alone all week. I'm not okay. going away. True. What are you talking about going away? All right. Who said I'm going away? <laughs> you did. Here's the thing. You leave first. I'm going co- on a plane. You're not yes. going on a plane. I'm never. No, absolutely not. I'm not going away. You leave before – you leave and you come back. What I do during the chunk of time <laughs> – is my own business. Okay. So if I, you had a flight out of Newark two hours after me and came in two hours before me. You don't need to know. I'm not allowed to, to know about it. You're not going to know Wait. anything I do. Okay. That's this whole, fine. There's going to be fine. a chunk of time that you ha- do not know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm not going fine. away. Okay. Will I be in New York? No. Yes. Will I be? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not going to be in Brooklyn, but I'm not going away. Okay. There's a difference. True. You're going on a plane. You're looking for, you're packing your bags. I am going on a plane. I think winter resorts are underrated. Okay. I think that I love winter. I love I think this is the best trip. I think I people think should do this for their bachelor parties. Winter resorts are like yeah, yeah. literally some of the most fun you ever have. Yes, I agree. hundred percent. The alcohol goes down smooth. You don't wake up in the you don't wake up sweating on the beach with a fucking sunburn. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. L- like you go to like a tropical resort, half the time I'm just fighting tequila sweats the yeah, whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're not fighting tequila sweats when you're on a on a winter resort. No, no. Right? I would say yeah. It's like a little more classy. It's a definitely House of Gucci, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like I, I once went to a winter resort and it was I put on I put on snowshoes. You okay. know what those are? Snow boots? Snow shoes. No, all right. No, they, not maybe. They, you tie them to your feet and they're like big webs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, so you yeah, can yeah, walk yeah. on yeah. snow so you don't sink. Yeah. It makes your surface area so larger. Okay. So it like distributes your weight better, right? Yeah, yeah. You should have seen the size of my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So okay, I put on okay. the show, snow shoes, right? Okay. I'm walking in freshly touched snow. No one's been in it yet. Deer are running around. Yes. This Squirrels. Yeah. Just dripping snow from the trees. What's it? Yeah. How am I? Well, that's you would really like skiing. How like am a I dad. not alive? Yeah, How, I feel well, more alive than anything. That's a, I agree. To see a squirrel in fresh snow makes me believe in Santa Claus as a thirty-two-year-old. Oh, a hundred percent. It makes me feel like there is magic in the world. Yeah, it is magical. I mean, that's what these mountains are so expansive and beautiful, and there's so much snow, and you go and you could be alone. That's a nice. You, you could be on a little trail by yourself. By yourself. Going at your pace. There's yeah. these beautiful trees. There's, I mean, my friends took pictures of a moose. <laughs> like moose are out in the wild. You're don't like talk in about a. Moose. You know, I don't like moose. You don't like moose. No. Yeah, I, yes. I remember. You know, uh, you, yes. could, you could die from. I mean, moose are dangerous. Bro, moose be 25, 30 feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> you no, have they're not. No, idea. no way. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to think if they stand up on two feet. <laughs> uh, 25 moose, feet is insane. A moose standing on two feet. <laughs> If you could train a moose to walk like a dog on two feet, that might be the scariest animal in the world. I will say, though, you said that the drinks go down smoother and all that in a winter resort. And there are, I think, winter drinks do feel nicer than, like, a summer drink. What's a winter drink? A hot toddy? Yeah, like a hot toddy. Whiskey's a winter drink. Yeah. I think those feel – I don't care about summer drinks, I guess. Can you drink eggnog even after Christmas? Yeah, sure. Beautiful. Do whatever you want. (laughs) The thing, though, that they don't tell you, or they do tell you and a lot of people ignore, is when you're up that high and on a mountain, the altitude, like three drinks is about one drink, almost, especially if you're drinking hard liquor. Wow. So it, you get drunker, faster. It's just like the nature of the beast. Wow. Yeah. I remember I went one time to this mountain in Utah, and they have like a bar at the summit, and it was this big like 
That's tech the summit conference. is the top. So, the summit is the top. And what's the peak? The summit is the peak. The summit is so it's like a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. I would say that it's synonymous. Yeah. The summit and... Oh, they're interchangeable words. I think so. So if someone goes, yeah, I'll see you at the summit, be like, yeah, brother, at the peak. Yeah. You, you could, could throw say, that around. You could, like, yeah, you could say that. And what about the, at the tippy top? The peak may be the actual highest point. Oh, okay, okay. And the summit might be, like, where you could actually stand. I don't know, though. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. no idea. I'm making shit up. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. But they had a bar up there, and I remember all these tech people. I was just in the elevator, and they were talking about how they had one whiskey, and they were fucked up oh. because they were so high up. Interesting. And I would say the most drunk that I've been – I never really fully told you this story. Oh, no. The most drunk I've been knowing you was on a ski resort last year, not drinking winter drinks. I was – it was like March. And what were you drinking? Tequila. So t- what happens? So I go up <laughs> – it was a wild – Okay. Situation. Tell me what happened. Um, I'm at like a nice ski resort, and they have this big, beautiful bar at the base, which is the bottom. Beautiful. It's the Figure four season. Out. It's like a Four Seasons, or maybe no, it's a Ritz Carlton. Great. That is the restaurant, and then they have this outdoor bar that's like almost summer vibes, but everybody's in their full winter, which is also fun when it's like full winter, but everybody's outside having a good time. There's fires, and people are mm-hmm. partying, like whatever techno type music. That's the vibe. And I go up and I'm like, hey, could you make the, could you make a skinny margarita? I think is what I said. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I didn't want it to have a lot of uh, calories. You do. You so do. I asked for a skinny margarita. What? <laughs> and she's like, I only know how to pour one bit way, baby, or something like that's that. That's what she said? Yeah, that was the response. That was her saying, grow up, you loser. Yeah. You're but I was like, Then I was like, no, I didn't mean not a lot of alcohol. I meant like. Like not a lot of calories. She thought I meant skinny as in like a low whatever. No, you meant she it didn't, skinny I as a real it. housewife. Yes, yes. You yes, were you were trying yes. to be on your on your svelte vibes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. But anyways, just to give the context of the type of pours this woman was doing. Um. Anyways, yeah, I have two tequila sodas, which is I am fine drinking two tequila sodas in New York. Debatable. Okay. <laughs> Debatable. And I start to. Two tequila sodas, you're on your phone looking to go someplace else. Instantly. Maybe. The thing about going out with Robbie is wherever you are, that's not true. the grass is always greener. That's not the true. grass is always greener at some or other situation, bar, house. As Two tequila sodas, you're looking to make another move. Okay. I don't think that's true. It's Robbie. Maybe three. <laughs> you are literally, that's your move. Is your like- move is making moves. Maybe yeah. That's you get drunk and and before he's like pizza boy, right? Yes. Before pizza's you, the last. Before, pizza's the end stage. The stages of Robbie drunk, right? It's like ah, oh, I'll have a drink, right? That's yeah. how it starts. Then step number two is we're having a good time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He's like moving. Step number three is he starts texting people to find a better place to go. What's next? Okay. Yeah. What's next? Right. Well, New York's all about moving. Oh. Uh, this is what he says. So step three is he goes, what's next? Hey, we're moving and shaking, oh, right? Wait, yeah, yeah. We definitely, if we're out, we he needs to take an Uber someplace to a second location, right? Yes. We, we get to the second location. He's getting more habit. The third move is we'll talk to girls and he'll ask them, this is his life. <laughs> he'll go, he'll All go. Right. This is his move, right? The th- say we go to one place, another place, right? He, he's moved and shaked a couple times. So he's satisfied. We've never moved and shaked. I know. Well, no, you move and shake. I do, but you're like you don't like to follow me on this journey. No, because I don't <laughs> want to go move and shake. Okay, so I'm mo- I've moved and shaked, and now and, what? Okay, so you move two, you go to three, you're satisfied with the moving and the shaking, right? Okay. Then this is your move after after three moves and shakes. Your move is this: you go up to a, go- a couple of girls and you go. You girls want to go dancing tonight? No, no way. <laughs> That's no. after a couple of moves and shakes. No. We start going into moving and shaking your body. No, right? no. Oh, if Robbie. I'm not dancing by the third move and shake, then I've I miscalculated somewhere along the line. Robbie, your move is literally to ask girls if they no, want to go dancing people, tonight. I don't know. I've not. Robbie, I swear to God. I, I think people want. Da- I'm like, what do you want? Where do you want to go? You want to go somewhere you dance? Do you want to go? People are at a place and they're feeling okay. Some people want to move. I'm like, do you want to go to like a lounge? You want to go somewhere you dance? You want to go to a bar? Robbie likes to make go from the cheapest place to the most expensive place by the end of the night. <laughs> no, no, you like to grow in price. 
It's like an Amazon. I guess search. I I'm more I the more drunker I am, the more I'm like, all right, I could spend some money. The, it's an Amazon search, right? And he, he goes price from low to high with the bars for the night. Yes. <laughs> He'll start yeah. at a cheap place and end up at, 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 at like a bottle service place by the end of the night, right? Yeah, maybe no. Oh, so, d- don't say no like that. It's, okay. You couldn't even say no. Maybe. But your move. I'm not buying bottle service. No, no, no. But you'll, you'll. I'll go to a place that maybe offers it. And you'll, and you'll be offer. You'll be asking people who wants to go. Maybe so. Of course. And you 100. percent I've done this before. Yes, this is not unusual. This is this probably was, the this norm. was the what I would do more with my like before the pandemic. And then I wasn't driving the ship. My friend would drive the ship, and, and I would just be along for the ride. After he's moving and shaking with someone uh, uh, dancing, right? Yeah. Then he's got to move and shake at the pizza place. The, the pizza place. Then he's got to be moving and shaking at the pizza place. The pizza places. Yeah. Have you ever been with a girl and like think you're gonna hook up, but you say let's go get pizza first? Uh, yeah, definitely. But also, I, I've also just decided to choose pizza over a hookup many times. To go to a pizza place with a girl that you're going to go back to their house and hook up with, and they watch you eat pizza, and they get like a slice, but you get three. Is I've what, done that. I mean, this that is humbling for you, but has to be a humbling moment for them. <laughs> that they're just sitting there with, you have to be... At, you have to be out of their league to be like, come with me and watch me eat three slices no. of pizza, <laughs> and then let's go hook up. They want to really hook up. That's getting your cake and eating it too. They want to really. That's hook getting up. your pizza and eating your cake too. Okay. It's like, look, I might, I'm gonna just fall asleep if I don't have the pizza. That's a lot of times I know. in my head what's going on. But how? Could, also, I'll just ditch and just get pizza over. How could a they not think if you're like? Maybe that's yeah. Hooking up with them, be like, wow, the kids got the kids got. Two buffalo chicken slices nah. and a belly in a square jiggling around <laughs> on top of me. <laughs> right? How can they not think that? Yeah. Because I've gone with a girl and done that, and they, they'll be dainty. They'll, they, they'll, like, eat a little bit because they're hoping to hook up. Oh. Uh, so they're, like. saying I, I house three slices. You house the slices, and then you burp. You wipe the oil off you. You get a couple on your shirt, and then you go, all right, let's go back to your house. <laughs> <laughs> this is your moving and shaking. All right, so you're at the you're at the winter resort. You're hanging out. I'm at the winter resort. I'm having a great time. This may be my favorite bar, one of my favorite bars I've ever been to. Is this place that I'm at? I'm having a good time. I'm outside. Okay. And I'm like, this is nice. I'm at an outdoor Two situation. Two tequila sodas deep. Two tequila sodas deep. Not looking to move and shake yet. Oh, I'm lo- looking to move and shake. You're looking to move. I'm and looking shake. to move. And shake. See, I knew it. We're I in. Knew it. There's a private party. So okay. th- we're there. The bar. Is like right in front of the Ritz Carlton, and they have sectioned off with like logs, like a like it's like fancy, not tape. It's like we bu- they built uh-huh. like a VIP with logs. like log, yeah, like a Lincoln log situation. Wow. Yeah, and the, I'm like, I gotta get the, in, the and then velvet, that's where the, the DJ velvet, is. The velvet ropes of, of, of exactly. the frontier man. <laughs> exactly, it's, it's the velvet <laughs> ropes of the frontier man. Right? Yeah, it's, it's and just there's logs. a VIP section. Hey, can I get behind the logs, bro? No, <laughs> VIP only. Yeah, yeah, that's the situation. But I, uh-huh. I wasn't gonna ask like that. Okay. I, I was plotting. So there's a DJ in that. That's where the DJ is. People are dancing over there. Uh-huh. Okay. And there's you wanna... some cuties. And okay. there's like these, it's like these older dudes. Money. That, they got money. Yeah, money. A lot, a lot yeah, of money. Yeah, 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 and yeah. they have a whole section. And I'm right next to the section. Yeah, that's where my bar stool is. Okay. Um, so there's this guy, uh, big fucking jack dude. Yeah, he's big jack dude. No, he's in the party. Oh. Very, very friendly man. Very big, very fucking jacked, bald. He's got a hat on, and the hat says, uh, "Social distance." I'm offensive, <laughs> so it's like I'll I'll do the rules, <laughs> but I want you to know that I'm like I'm offensive. It's it's he doesn't he's doing the rules because he's the problem, not yeah. COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think COVID's well, bad? Well, he, Wait till he you follows. See- he wasn't. He's like I'm not somebody because at this point people were like, "We don't do masks. We don't do social distance." That was uh. like a big. This was March 2020. Yeah, and this 2021, 2021. Okay. So this was still like that was a big debate. The vaccines wasn't even the debate at the point. It was more yeah. like we don't want to. So he was like, "Look, I'm still fucking tough, uh-huh. but I do follow the rule." That's what the hat was. And my cousin has I a think- similar outlook, I think, on this whole thing. Uh-huh. And I was like, "I gotta get that hat for my cousin. I'm fucked up." Yeah. And I'm like, "This is hilarious. This hat." So I'm talking to the guy and I'm asking him about the hat. And where he's working for, he's telling me about his job, works from Morgan Stanley, and he just keeps trying to get me to 
be friends with all of his people now. And he gives me the hat. Okay. And now I have my, I'm <laughs> like, I'm wearing the hat now. It says socially mm. distance. I'm offensive. And I'm talking to this big Jack dude. So now he's introducing me to his people that they are throwing this VIP section now. Okay. So now I'm like, oh, all, telling all my friends who they could care less if we're in this VIP section or not. Of course. And I, I'm telling all. You're the mover and the shaker and other yeah. people are like, all right, I wanted to hang out with yeah. my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, but you want to hang out with strangers that, that have fun outlooks on COVID. <laughs> I thought the hat was funny and oh, I was yeah. like I'm outside I'm having a, they're playing fun music and now I'm I'm you getting know how invited. You, lose, you know how Robbie for Robbie you think he's he's your friend? Be careful if someone has a funny t-shirt you're gone for the night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, Maybe so. you you may be best friends since he was a childhood. Uh-oh, who's this person? Uh-oh, they got a funny pin on their backpack. Uh-oh, Robbie's off with them. Yes, I would say so. Uh so then there was this other dude who he was an older man. He was also had a lot of money. Okay. And he was he was like trying to tell me about the girls that like we could it was started to get a little weird. But then he was also being a little flirty with me. So he was like, Oh, we got girls, but also like was giving me compliments and like what he asked me for my number. I don't know. He was just like, Oh, you should really come hang out. Like, oh yeah, we have a lot of cute guys, cute girl, like stuff like subtle. He was things. covering all the bases. Yeah, 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 yeah. Covering all the bases. But yeah. sure, making sure to include that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, he's like, tell me about their after party that they got this room and like all these people are gonna be there. And I'm like, I'm starting to get myself into uncharted sure. territories. Sure. <laughs> but I was also kinda like, Hey, whatever what what do we want to do? Do we wanna go to an after party? What's the situation? And my friends I think kind of wanted to leave or whatever this makes sense i would say um, in the height of covid i wouldn't want to go to a strangers after party where no. they're trying to hit on you yes maybe yes. May, probably maybe not so, but, probably not but this is why the mountain tequilas are di different well right? now i probably have three mountain tequilas three mountain tequilas oh my I god say, that's a bottle yes and the rest of the i vaguely remember ordering food i vaguely remember um Drink, I think I had a few more drinks, uh, maybe another. I started switching to beer. Okay. And I come to, and I'm throwing up back at my place. Good. Yes, I'm throwing up now for probably a few hours back at my place. So you blacked out and you wake up in front of the toilet? Uh, yeah, uh Next to the bed. Oh, you, so you're just throwing up in a garbage can? On a towel. You're just throwing up loose on a towel? I think so. Are you sharing this room with other people? No. Thank the Lord. Okay? Thank the Lord. You're just throwing up onto a tap. Yeah. Wow. That drunk brain is funny. Yes. Drunk brain. Well, wait. Is... I, I'm, I, I'll fill in, I guess, what happened. Oh, my God. You did not tell me this. <laughs> so we go to leave, I guess. Okay. At some point. There's pictures of me with the guy with the hat. And pictures you... of me with the guy that I think is kind of hidden on me. And then your friends are like, let's get Robbie and, home. Yeah. They were like, let's get Robbie home. I offered <laughs> to give the guy a hand job. To get us to the party. <laughs> Not to him, to my friends. I was like, what's the deal? This guy really keeps hitting on me. What do, what do we, what do you, what, what are we feeling? Do we want to go to this party? And oh they're like, I don't know. <laughs> and apparently I was like, look, if we, if I need to jerk him off, I'll jerk him off. <laughs> so that's part of what, something that happened. Oh my God. Then they're like, no, no, no. We, we, we're going to leave. We're going to leave. No. We, we don't I, need that. Here's the thing. If I was your friend, I would say, I want to go. I, I, even if I didn't want to go to that party, I would say I want to. go I think to that I was party. trying to be funny. I don't know, Robbie. I think I was like, look, there's they have this, this because they had a whole situation. You were at the. You were a real friend. You look out for your boys and your girls more than anyone I've ever met. <laughs> Anyways, we, you'll jump a happens. stranger off so they could casually hang out at a party they don't want to go to. No, they. I, it'll, uh, no, if they didn't. No, they didn't want to go, so I wasn't going to do that. Well, what if one person was like, I'd go. I probably I think I was just trying to be stupid. I don't know. I was I don't remember. But they told me the next day. So you were willing to jerk a person off That's to go said. to this party. They this said. is amazing. They said I was being funny. This is how you make progress. This is what This part is how of, you get far in Utah. This is how you get <laughs> far. I would I sold out immediately. Okay, yes. So whatever. Then we're going to leave and they had like private shuttles to all the other fancy we drove a car to the parking lot from where we were staying at an Airbnb. But they have these shuttles that I guess I thought were going to the parking lot, but they were going to like the Waldorf Astoria or wherever. Sure, but I just walked on the belong. shuttle. Yes. And <laughs> my friends are all like, Robbie, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm like, 
I just keep being like, this is the show. Like, I was just kept trying to convince them. It's hard. But I was you. going on these yeah. shuttles. And they're like, he's going to get sent to. My friends had to, like, come bring me out of that, out of that wow. shuttle situation. And then they said we were walking. I think the last embarrassing thing was I was just walking, which this is bad. This is a bad thing. <laughs> This that is I did. Yeah, what'd you do? Uh, we were walking in the car, and I just stopped to pee <laughs> in the parking lot. Just in people were around you. Uh, my friends. All right. <laughs> but we're like walking in the parking lot. It was the yeah. end of the, It was probably like six p.m. The mountain closed at but four. But people are looking at you. I don't think. I don't know. I don't and remember. But I don't think my friend. I don't. I think it was like a pretty barren uh, parking lot. That's how I would like to pretend it was. Uh huh. But sounds like you had a bunch of drinks and you didn't eat a lot. I had three tequilas and I think one or two Michelob Ultras. But that, to me, I could do that in New York. But what I'm saying is the drinking is it takes, is, it takes a total. It's like three is one. But then they're also telling me they're doing heavy pours. So they tell you big drinks, three to one. So that would be nine. And then I was doing the math. I, I was the most drunk that I've been since maybe I was in college. Maybe wow. ever. So, so. It was last March. And then I had to get the vaccine like the next day. So do you have people that are going to be able to take care of you? Because now, now I'm worried. No, I'll be fine. I I've been on so, I've been on multiple multiple situations and ski trips, and I am fine. I'm worried. Robbie. This was a one time situation. I thought you were being nice to your friends, but your friends clearly just they they they, they were like we we got to carry Robbie home tonight. Yeah, that was a wild situation. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a tough one, Robbie. And this is your favorite vacations to take in the world, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fun because you escape reality. Like, that part of it isn't why I like it. No. We're recording this right now. It's January 17th. Cool. Okay. So look be look behind the curtain, right? Do you know, everyone know, and you know what today is? National Quitting Day. This is the day that most people fail at their resolutions. What are you laughing at? The way I said that? You know what else it is? What? <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. Day. <laughs> People have off from school. <laughs> People have off from school. <laughs> that looks, that's a really bad look for two two white dudes saying the Jet Seventeen. Whoa, 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 one, nice. one, two. One. What I say, you thought. <laughs> It's worth saying. This is a bad look. This no, is not a bad look. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Oh, my God. Uh, That's yeah. a really bad look, Robbie. The seven, It's not always the 17th Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but it is the Monday. Oh, my God. After. <laughs> Take me to church. <laughs> this is no good. I, yeah. Uh, That's not good. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And also, it's National Quitting Day. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm truly so embarrassed. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's not a good look. No. I can't believe. It has to be MLK Day first. It's MLK Day first. Here's the thing. It's almost. Uh, I, I don't know what to say about MLK Day. <laughs> but I know what to say about National Quitting Day. Yes. Is that bad? I would say look into what Martin Luther King Jr. actually said and. uh I did. Don't, I have. Don't whitewash his, well, his message. I was saying that's the thing to that. What are we going to say? But imagine, imagine I came on the podcast and I just started speaking about MLK. You and I. That's not our forte. That's not what we should. We should be listening, not speaking. Yes. I'm really trying to justify why it's okay that I made it National Quitting Day over <laughs> MLK Day. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. So it's National Quitting Day. So I'll be quitting the podcast. It's MLK Weekend. Okay, it's MLK Weekend. I like that. Give give him he gets give him days. the whole weekend. Yes. We just not This we. is the end of <laughs> this is the end of MLK weekend. I'm sweating. This is uncomfortable now. <laughs> I cannot believe. Oh my god. I tried so hard. I try I try. Hap, happy National Quitting Day. <laughs> I'm walking around. You should have seen me all morning. I went to the bodega ever the guy goes, Hey, you got off? I go, Yeah. I go, yeah, it's good. Happy National Quitting Day. I'm walking around telling people happy National Quitters Day. Because I thought, oh, this is funny. This is fun. And everyone must be like, who the fuck is this asshole disrespecting MLK? MLK. Hey, walking around. Sometimes you look like a fool. Yeah, maybe. And I'll tell you this. 
I looked like a fool all morning. <laughs> I, I looked all like you a were, fool. You were walking around town talking about National Quitting Day? A thousand percent. I've been uh, talking about it all day. Yeah. I mean, there's the... I got, I got a sandwich. I said, Happy National Quitting Day. I said to my super, cleaning. No. I said, hey. And he goes, how you doing? I got National Quitting Day. I'm looking around. Oh, no. My super, who's black, who literally just went to Africa for two weeks... I said to him, happy National Quitting Day on Martin Luther King Day. Yeah, that's not a good look. I'm embarrassed. I should write it. I should, no, I'll ignore it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do. This is uncomfortable. Yeah. I do want to talk about National Quitting All Day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so people quit on the 17th. People quit. They say two weeks into, uh, into uh, in two weeks after New Year's. 80% of the people fail their Two weeks after New Year's would be the 15th. But the 17th is the day? The 17th is the day. Okay. They say two... Uh, they. Am I walking around saying half on National Quitting Day <laughs> on not National Quitting Day, but on Martin Luther King Day? <laughs> Am I walking around getting I National Quitting Day wrong on Martin Luther <laughs> King Day? Now I'm I just like, know. how fucked am I? It's someone like, like uh, not only, oh, Jesus Christ. This is a bad look. Google it, please. Or I'll Google it. This is bad. It's the second Friday of January, so it's not today. National Quitters Day. Well, I got my face, okay? okay. <laughs> you, uh. My resolution. You mixed up Quitters Day with. With MLK Day. Yes. Oh, fuck Fuck. <laughs> but. Well, anyways, National Quitters Day is the day that most people fail their resolution. Okay. 80% of resolutions are failed by National Quitters Day. Yeah, mine. I Yours guess. is failed. Yes. So if you kept your resolution up till today when you're listening to this podcast, you are part. You are setting the curve. Okay. You are screwing everyone else, so they, there's not a bump up on the on the. Have test. you done it? You've you've stayed strong through your resolutions. I've stayed strong. My well, my resolutions are easy. Yeah. My I, what, don't, I don't drink. Yeah. Is, for is, one month. For one month. Yeah, I've stayed strong. Nice. Uh, is, is weed alcohol? I don't know. If it was, then we'd be fucked. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, how much am I quitting? Yeah. Last night I drifted all off into sleep four times. <laughs> I was like, how am I awake but still asleep? Yeah, but yeah. I'm not drinking. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally last night l w w was in a, a dreamscape of a movie. Yeah, I think I'm getting too high to for this to be more healthy than me not drinking. A hundred percent. I know. Yeah. You, you told me the amount of weed you're eating, and it's a problem. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm going to take you a day off. instantly turned it all the way up. I was going to bring the weed <laughs> on vacation, but I think I got to leave it. You... <laughs> Okay. I mean, you got to leave it at home. That's good. I think, I think it's good to leave it at yeah, home. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, But 80% of the people failed. So if you're part of that, if you are still keeping your resolution, you're part of the 20%. Wow. 80% of the people can't last two weeks doing something that they want to see themselves do better for themselves. I get it. Yeah, I get it too. I get it. You know how soft. It's cold as fuck. It's so fucking cold. <laughs> yeah. It's there's nothing good going on. The world is yeah. Omicron We're is in like three years running us right. We're calendar locked year inside. three of a, of a pandemic. If you kept your resolution, you might be a sociopath. Maybe more I, so. I think we should judge the people that kept their resolution yeah. and haven't quit. I agree. Right? If you still are doing your resolution, fuck you. Okay. Go ahead, hang out with David Goggins, you loser. Okay. Right? Anyone that kept their resolution really doesn't have feelings. Or is so yeah. good at pushing them down that they must be Irish. It <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess it depends, but yeah. What your res if your resolution is wake up in the morning. If your resolution is uh, strictly self-help. Yes. Then maybe. If it's like be a better person, then that's nice. That's Even nice. then. It's hard. It's probably hard. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. It's just, to, yeah, I guess no matter what it is. You're probably a little bit sociopathic. <laughs> I'm more weary of someone that at the end of the year, when they post how many books they read because they promised that they were going to read that many books. <gasps> I don't want to be friends with that person. Yes. I don't want to be. The year long ones like that are, are interesting because you have, it's a lot of on you. So yes. either you're going to cram at some point or you get them all done out of the way. 
That's like too much to yeah. that's too much organization. These the twenty percent that is still doing their resolutions, you should know that you should be feared. Not because of your power, but because of your lack of empathy of, yeah. or your your <laughs> lack of vulnerability for how fucked up the world is. <laughs> Right? Yes. Right? Uh, I can't believe I, I haven't drank. I mean, I can. I, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. really easy to not drink yes. when you're sitting in your house. When it's very cold. I don't need to drink next to you. No. Me and you, we do, do this sober, baby. We do this sober, baby. <laughs> baby, we do this sober. Baby, we do this sober. As many people think, <laughs> this is how I am when I'm drunk. When I'm drunk, I'm quiet. It depends. No, I get a little quieter. It's a... It's a peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. Sometimes I would say it goes up, then it goes down. I am a I am a ski hill. You are a ski hill. I don't need to go drinking on a ski trip because when I drink, it is a ski trip. trip. (laughs) (laughs) I get real loud. I get real soft, and then I'm off off into the cabin, aka my bed. You know, right? Um. So yeah, I don't need to do that. But I think that like, if you kept your resolution this far, there's no there's. There's no excuse. You need to fucking have a drink. You need to relax. Yeah. You need to do I something. I mean, t- two weeks. <laughs> but if you're doing it for months, then you're probably not very spontaneous. No. Do you consider yourself spontaneous? No. You don't. Have you ever seen me do any spontaneity? Yeah, that's a good point. Nothing. I'm, I I also, that's okay. I'm not spontaneous. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Women that say they want a man that's spontaneous, they don't. Probably not. They, I, girls on their dating apps write stuff that they want. That they don't want. <laughs> they say things okay. that they think they want or think makes them cute and quirky, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, I want something spontaneous. Yeah, right? you don't. You don't. You probably don't. You maybe want somebody who's spontaneous once every two years. Uh-huh. If I'm coming home, it's a Tuesday <laughs> night and I got two iguanas on my shoulder <laughs> and I go, baby, we got pets. <laughs> you do not want spontaneity, yeah. okay? You yeah. want – what you mean by yeah. spontaneity is that you want flowers on occasion. You want yeah. occasion to be like, come on, I planned the dinner for us. Yeah. You don't want spontaneity. Spontaneity no. is me going, spontaneity baby, I'm, for dry, I'm drying the jeans in the, in the oven today, okay? <laughs> I'm trying, sweetie, yeah. well, sweetie, where are my jeans? In the oven, <laughs> boom, bada, bing, <laughs> you know? Yeah. You don't want spontaneity. No. I'm driving down the highway, I just cop a U-turn, I go, we're going to Dave and Buster's, bitch. <laughs> you don't want spontaneity. You want light romance, okay? Yeah. So these girls need to be learning what the word spontaneity means. No, they don't want a true spontaneous kink. No, right? <laughs> no. I don't I don't need to be at your grandma's funeral and then all of a sudden break out into a little Ed Sheeran in little front of everyone. That's spontaneous, right? <laughs> Bad habits. That, uh, there's no spontaneity that a woman wants. They want consistency. They want consistency, yes. Maybe with a slight bit of, oh, we're going to go to Paris in six weeks. <laughs> yes, yes. Not, I booked us a six-month cruise. It leaves tomorrow. <laughs> there's no one – imagine – I can't imagine the person you show up and you'd be like, I called your boss. You're off this week. Here's your plane tickets. We're leaving for the airport in 15 minutes. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No person wants that. No. No. And if you're the I person called that called your help, boss. I called. <laughs> There's yeah, a lot called. of girl bosses out there that will murder you on the spot. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if the guy's spontaneous, he probably doesn't have a steady job. If he's truly a spontaneous king. Uh, yes, if he's truly he spontaneous. Doesn't have a, so if he's calling your boss, he's the last person you probably want to talk to your boss. No, because either he's his own boss and he he owns a bunch of NFTs, right? Yeah, yeah. Or mommy and daddy toss him a couple bucks, you know? Yeah, yeah. Those are the two spontaneous Or he's kings. Pete Davidson. Or he's Pete. Well, right? that's the other thing. What? People, they wouldn't be able to date Pete. All these girls think that he's oh, so hot, no. he's so whatever. He is spontaneous in some ways. Yes. Uh, but they wouldn't be able to, unless they're going to quit their job. But Pete doesn't want people to be quitting and then they become their whole life. Yeah, Pete doesn't want that. Yeah, he the, doesn't want somebody that now their whole life is. When the girls say they're fan, their dream man, Yeah, that's not their dream man. No. Right? They don't know what that's like on paper. No. Right? I would love and to. We and we do. And <laughs> we do. We <laughs> do. I know what we it's know like. exactly what it's like to date Pete Davidson. A hundred percent. Yeah, I I can tell you what's like. I've been to, please. He took her to the atrium. I've been on a date yeah. at the atrium, yeah. right? Yeah. Me, I've taken girls to the same place as Pete Davidson has on yeah. dates, right? We left Staten Island and Pete Davidson made it the hottest place in the country. The hottest place. We could have been at the I atrium. Know. We could have been. We could have been chilling. I, 
would I would I would go to the atrium. I remember that was one of the first uh, times I, I took a girl on a date and I held the door for her. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was late. I walked so Pete could run at the atrium. You walked, yes, you did. You walked, <laughs> I walked so Pete so could run. Pete could run at the atrium. Right? You were the first guy to ever take someone on a date at the atrium in Staten Island. A hundred percent. I used to go. <laughs> Probably I, the most popular date spot <laughs> in all of Staten Island. <laughs> It was me that, that was originated. You that originated. My friends go, "Where are you going this week?" I go, "The atrium." They go, "I thought you had a date." Yeah. That's a fun. T- that's a that, that's a hanging out spot. I go, yeah. "Not anymore, kids." <laughs> it now became the most romantic place. It, you made it romance. I made. I'm yeah. And when girls are like, "I want to be treated like I want to be treated like a superstar. I want to be treated like a princess." I mean, if Kim Kardashian ain't the princess of the United States, I don't know who it who okay. who is. That, right? I agree with that. So. I do treat girls like princesses yes, because I have. <laughs> I'm treating girls like a princess because I've taken a girl a date on a date to Angelina's, the restaurant you set out. So how, how are you not Kim and I'm fucking uh, uh, Pete right now? Okay, baby. I, I took myself on a date to Angelina's. Does that mean I, of I treat myself like a princess? You treat yourself like Kim Kardashian because you've been to Angelina's. One night I was mad, sad, it sat out, and I was like, I'm just gonna go to the nicest restaurant on this island. A thousand percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My grandparents have taken me to the atrium. Yes. How how are we not a Kardashian? I, we, <laughs> I mean, we are. We are. We're adjacent. We, We're we Kardashian are, adjacent. We are so close. We are two degrees separation from Kardashians. Yes. I've never been closer to U.S. royalty, yeah. a.k.a. trash, than I am right now. <laughs> Here's the thing. We don't need to get better. We need the elites to get shittier. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> And that's what Pete Davidson is doing. Yeah. He is doing the hard work and making all these millionaires and billionaires, right? The people that run our media. He's not saying, let's go to these fucking fancy places. He says, let's make the shitty cool. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to adjust every every everyday people. Pete is going to adjust the barometer for try. us. Okay. And that's what he's doing God's work out there. Yeah, he is. Because now I'm a king. Because I've I've literally <laughs> made out to, in yes. the same theater too in the atrium. I've kissed the girl. Kardashian. I've kissed the girl. Who knows? I've shared popcorn in the same seat that Kim K has. Amazing. I mean, so this is I, I'm living like a king. Yeah, Pete is is putting Staten Island on the map. So in, in your dating profile, if you say you want to be treated like a princess, I can handle you that. Got <laughs> I got you. Sponta- spontaneous nah, so what nah. are people saying on these apps another thing i noticed right because i'd be on i i, I pause my I, I i got the hinge all right he's fully functioning on dating app uh, but i pause it every time i leave i pause it okay okay i pause the activity because i can't handle i can handle me liking you i can't handle uh, strangers liking me or seeing me okay why is that you don't oh as soon as I'm but not on it, that, I turn it off. Because you don't want to be out in the... I don't want to be out in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Exposed. Vulnerable. This, it's vulnerable. I just peek my head out. I go, anyone out there? And yeah, then yeah, I, yeah. And then I hide behind in. the curtain again. Okay. You only want to be in control. Uh, yeah, I guess I want to be in control. And okay. that's okay. Yeah, I think that's this fine. This is how... You, it's my... My, yeah, my yeah, app, yeah, yeah. my... No. Yeah. <laughs> it's my app, right? Yeah. I get to control it how I want, Definitely. right? Definitely. Another thing I noticed, how is it possible that every single girl on dating apps, has a photo with a fucking elephant. Yeah. <laughs> Every single girl has a photo with an elephant. I've never met an elephant. Is it like you're ready? Like, like is it like you finally turn like 18? You're like, I'm going to start dating. Okay, bring in the elephant. Let's get the photo. Let's get the shots, okay? Maybe Hinge subsidizes trips that we don't know. Hinge is telling girls, hey, sign up for a rap. <laughs> you could go to this safari adventure trip maybe, that we'll send you on. Maybe Hinge is just an apparatus for big elephants. It's big For elephant. these elephant uh, farms, every single girl has a picture with an elephant. I don't know if they want to look skinny, so they're like, uh, "Let me take a picture with the fattest animal in the world." I mean, it's a good move, right? It's a good move, right? A girls look hot next to elephants. Okay. Because you go, "Oh, look at that elephant." I have seen a, a quite amount of elephant photos in my, and I'm not even on the dating app, so no, just on Instagram. Because people are like, "I don't." Have you ever heard of anyone being like, "I'm going to go see an elephant today"? No. Has this conversation ever c- come up? No. Then how I've... does fifty percent of women have pictures with elephants? I don't know. Where is, is where happening? are elephants? Where are elephants? Are they U- in the U.S. Are they? I have no idea. I've never you... followed <laughs> up. I've never said. Because we've all seen an elephant in person. Yeah, at a zoo. At, at, yeah, yeah. No. But to get a picture. These are girls. That, I've never gotten a picture. These are like their friends. The elephants got its tr- trunk wrapped around their shoulder. Oh, it's wow. like f- elephant friends. 
And they're in some fucking uh, prints, like loose pants and some blousy yes, shirts. I've seen, I've seen the, like, I've seen the whole get up. How is this? How are this many girls taking pictures with elephants? Also, what is it? What does it say about you? What you're trying to portray? Is it? Are you trying to say? Yeah. What is it? I say? like vacations. I think it's like look how not look how much look how fat this fucking loser you is. You think that's what? It, <laughs> I you think, think it's solely. It's solely. It's the. It's like oh, you take a picture with your not as good looking friend to make yes. yourself better looking. Take it to the extreme. It's like either I'll take a picture with Margaret ugh, or an elephant. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> poor Margaret. P- poor, I mean, Margaret's a fake person. So okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, Margaret's yeah, yeah. safe, right? Yes, I yes. know zero Margarets in my life, right? Yes. Um, but I think there is this thing of like, uh, I think it's like whimsical. Look yeah. how whimsical I am. Some days I hang out with elephants. Yeah, yeah. Some days I go into the office and I get things done, and other days, I'm with my elephant friends. <laughs> I'm with my elephant friends, yeah. right? Uh, this is why I hide my profile so they can't make fun yeah, of me yeah, like yeah. this. <laughs> I'm a coward. I look at all theirs. I go, ooh, I'll yeah, make fun yeah, of it yeah, later. Yeah. And then the, I go, but don't look at mine. <laughs> Please don't look at mine. But yours, elephants, what the fuck? <laughs> right? I'm literally drinking out of an elephant mug yeah. right now. An homage. I might post this on, on my Instagram, right? Be like, I like elephants too, ladies, Okay. I'm going to DM girls. Uh, I'm going to not DM. I'm going to respond to them on the dating apps being like, awesome. Uh, I love to, to, to go out on a first date. Too. Uh, I love to go on a first date. How about an elephant farm where we hang out with a bunch of elephants? I see you love that. <laughs> I'm going to start asking girls. I go, how often do you hang out with elephants? Do you think? Yeah, because it's not even. It's not. I, I would even say if you have a picture with your cat. That Better. tells me more about you. Yes. A picture with an elephant. Because I don't. It doesn't mean you that, love animals. No. It doesn't mean. That wherever the region that you – you probably just did like some Americanized version yes. of wherever you went. You went to Tanzania. And, and then you did a really Americanized yep. watered down ver- – like so it doesn't really tell me – You swam like, with the dolphins in, in, yeah, in, exactly. in the Caribbean. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You were inside a building. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, you yeah. weren't – But everyone spoke English. Yes, everyone and, spoke English. Yeah, yeah. You one at a time took – they know how to take a good picture for you, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Well, but I wouldn't hate it, I feel like. No, no, but every single girl they has probably got money, picture. to some level. Yes, I would say that's something it tells me about it. I would want. I'm trying to think of like what animal would I be like immediately interested if somebody took a picture next to it. I don't know. Maybe a lion. <laughs> I don't think any animal's gonna do. Nothing. It for it's me. not gonna do it for you. No, it's not like ah, this girl seems. This girl seems not my type. It seems like a lot of our. She wants this. I want that. Okay, but. Man, she took that picture with that zebra. I would just that yeah, there's got to be something that's like in. I got to know the story behind this. Yeah, I guess so. But elephants not that. I, I guess, would say I guess if you were with an animal in a setting that doesn't make sense. If you were in a hot air balloon with a monkey, I'm oh, you want to know. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. matching with you if you're on a yeah, hot yeah. air balloon. <laughs> if you're in the desert and everyone's on camels and all of a sudden we look to you and you're just on a big hippo, match <laughs> like that's interesting yeah. to me but you just going to an elephant farm is it and it doesn't do me nothing if your picture goes you have a hippo in a desert <laughs> and everybody else is doing the quintessential camel photo everyone's hey, on that's the camel. definitely a match everyone's on the camel and the one goes yeah. on a hippo running yeah, that's around that's definitely a match that's an instant match for yes, me yes yes right you just go into a petting zoo right with a llama i don't need that no 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 other photos i know this right okay they got so uh, girls always made fun of the boys with the fish. Yes. We see you girls. What's up with these fucking elephants? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right? Another photo I notice all the time on these girls' profiles, right? Okay. okay. They always have a photo with the oldest person they know, right? They literally always have a photo with it's like like this is my great great aunt. And they're just like in a chair and they're like have their arm around the oldest person they know. Right? It's always like it's not even. It's like, hey, grandma, do you want to take a photo with me for my dating profile? <laughs> right? It's either the oldest person they know, or the youngest person they know. Okay. Right? They never have both, but it's either okay. with a little kid or with a very old person. Right? They're like, I have a range with the people yeah. I hang out with, <laughs> okay? or care about, or care. Yes, people in my like. I don't judge people, okay? Like, I see my grandma, okay? Uh, okay. I see my great aunt, aunt Nancy, right? Yeah, yeah. I see her. Do I see her once every five years? Yes. Am I going to take a photo <laughs> and put it on my dating profile? You better freaking believe it. <laughs> right? It's Or it's with very someone very young. And that is Inception, my dude. 
Inception? Me you too. think they're trying to be like, Look this at me. is me with a baby. Look at me. Already a mommy. Already a mom. Okay. That's Inception. Do you think dudes do the same thing? No. Post with the. I mean, I don't see dudes' dating profiles. True. Like, this is the thing. Like, I have no idea what's going on in a dude's dating profile. Yeah. Or what, yeah, how they are expressing, like, their personality. Yeah. This is no, like, this is the one. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Maybe I'll make a, a catfish account so I can see what dudes yeah. are doing. <laughs> so I can step my game up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's maybe what I should do. Ah, brilliant idea, Robbie. <laughs> Write it down. Uh, <laughs> it's just, that's probably, if you were to ask them, if you were to be like, hey, what's your personality like? I don't think they'd be like, elephants, old people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like uh, this bar that I used to go to in college, but it looked really good the one night, and the, I just can't let go of it. Uh, the tallest location I've yeah. been in the city, right? Yeah. What's the tallest place I've been in, in Houston, Texas? I'm yeah. gonna post a picture there, right? They love probably not mentioning any of this. No, they. You should take dating profiles should be photos of things you do every day. I would love to see a dating profile of someone uh, just uh, with the blanket on their couch. <gasps> Oh, I know a little bit of something about you now. Be, yeah, yeah. In front of the microwave with the lean cuisine. Yeah. I know. I know a lot about you now. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Right. That's how I want the dating profiles to be. All right. All right. Listen to this pitch. Okay. Pitch it. Dating profile. Dating app. Dating app. App. Uh, app talk. Yes. All right. So new dating app called Wednesday. And you know how they have like Instagram takeovers that people will do an Instagram takeover and show their day of that day. Okay. You have to. It has to be on a Wednesday. Uh huh. Middle of the week. Yes. You have to show ten stories. Upload ten little ten second stories. Oh. About what you did that day. And just show your day. And show your day. And that's what you present. I love this, Robbie. And you have to do it on a Wednesday. Just because it's like a middle. And of the everybody's week. doing it. I on think a you Wednesday. should be able to do it uh, on a Wednesday and a weekend. Okay. Oh, so then yeah, you see yeah. Both. Okay, yeah, because yeah. Because you're not gonna be living their life. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like I've gone out with girls Wednesdays. Maybe we get an hour, a couple hours together, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying then you see their job, you see yes. what they do after work. You that's see a that. good idea. Yeah, maybe that's a. Hinge, and then a weekend, or maybe you could see that as well. Hinge too. should force you. They, you shouldn't be able to choose your photos. You should have to be like. Place a photo here that you use for your passport. Pl place your passport photo here, yeah. right? Yeah. Pl place the last dinner you ate, right? Yeah, like yeah. people should be required to do photos rather than like I'll just pick any of the most whimsical photos yeah. I have, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Remember, remember that time we were looking at the sky writing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I don't need a photo of a sky writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually don't mind it when someone takes a screenshot of something they love and put it up, puts it on their dating profile. Like they get a couple of pit, like four pictures of them, and then all of a sudden they have a, a like a, a photo of like a, the movie poster, a movie poster that they love. Oh, okay. I actually kind of like that. That's more probably representative of their personality yes. than the elephant or the the great ant. A thousand percent. Definitely. Yeah. Right. A bathroom selfie. I don't even mind. A bathroom selfie. It almost feels real. Okay. It almost it, it tells me two things. Because some people are like strict no mirror pics. They won't. I don't care. You don't care about that. No, because it tells one. One, it tells me kind of like what you look like to for like a night out. Yes. Right. Two, I'm I'm okay to know that you're gonna spend a lot of time in the bathroom. I know the I learned these two things for, uh, from a bathroom. Selfie. Yes, yes, yes. I learned that oh, you're gonna go to the bathroom. You're gonna be there for a little bit. Yes, yes. I'm gonna pull out my phone. I'm gonna start a game of Monopoly. Okay. <laughs> right. Oh, excuse me. I have to go to the bathroom. Excuse you. I have to play Monopoly. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm okay with that because it tells a little truth about that. Yes, definitely. Right. Elephants don't. No. That's a funny thing about mirror pick selfies is uh -huh. we've all taken them, but everyone is. Like why don't we, why don't we just accept that everyone's taken one? It's so looked down upon. Yeah, I think as like the, the the trashiest way that you can record yourself existing is a mirror pic selfie. I know, and it's like why we've all done it. It's literally the mo the easiest of selfies. Yeah, yeah. It's almost it's more telling of who you are than a selfie when you're facing yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because that you usually like have a, a, at an angle or something like that, yeah. right? I guess you it shows vanity. All pictures show vanity that yes. you take of yourself. That's true. All, we're just more aware of the vanity when we see, see it in the, the camera. mirror. Yeah. When we see the phone in your hands, we're more aware of the vanity. Yeah. Every photo shows vanity. Have you – I mean, I don't sit around taking photos of myself. Do you? No. No. Never. 
one time in high school, I had to take photos of my buddy for his MySpace to look all good. He lost, really? he lost a bunch of weight. And and he's he like, I jacked. need a new MySpace. New and MySpace he, dropping Friday. Uh, new MySpace. So it's helping me and out. And I was at his house, and we're all stoned, and we're in his bedroom, him with his shirt off, me just taking photos of him. Damn. His shirt's off? Shirt's off. And he... <laughs> And I'm commenting on his body. I, Yo, flex a little bit here. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, And here's yeah. the thing. No, I've never done anything like that. He felt safe with me. Yes, definitely. You know why? Why? Nobody's going to make you look better than a fat photographer. <laughs> I want my photographers fat. Okay. But you don't want a hot photographer. They, uh, they think that there's less every uh, smoke and mirrors. Every picture's good for a, uh, for a hot person. So if you have a hot photographer, oh, yeah, you just go like this and then it's done, right? Okay. An ugly photographer, uh, uh, an ugly, uh, someone with inse uh, insecurities in areas, right? Yes. That's a good photographer. Oh, tuck your hand over here and, and place, place your arm like this, right? That's what you need. You need someone that has cried after middle school okay. to be a photographer. <laughs> I would be a phenomenal <laughs> photographer. Okay. You need someone that has gone, my body. <laughs> yes. And that's the person how I want to, uh, taking my photo. Okay. If they show up in like a poncho because they, they, they're uncomfortable with themselves, I feel more comfortable with okay. me with the photo. You know it's going to be a good photo shoot. Oh, yes. Those are, the trem those are tremendous photographers <laughs> okay. in every sense of the word. Okay. <laughs> right? That's who I want taking my photos. Nice. So my new hinge photos, I'm going to have – a really thick, uh, the thickest dude follow me around, right? <laughs> and it should be the insecurity that you have, right? Okay, okay. I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm heavy. And, and I want a, a heavy photographer to pop out the corner and be like, I got you, dude. <laughs> right? Whatever insecurity you have, right? That's where they you should. They can do it the best. Yeah, they yeah. They should do it the best. So you should not look at photographers based on their work. You should look on it based on if your insecurities match up. Okay. <laughs> because they'll help you the most. That's nice. Well, no one will ever see these photos I have on Hinge because I unpo I, I pause so People quick. can see them. No, I pause real quick, bro. So, But then you're not out in the ether anymore when you pause? I'm not out in the ether. Okay, so they have to catch you at the right time. You're like a rare Pokemon. I'm a rare Pokemon on, on Hinge. these dating apps. Okay, I <laughs> yeah. pop out when I'm ready. Okay? And it's just Hinge? Just Hinge. All right, yeah, check yeah. them out on Hinge. Check, check them out on TikTok. Fo TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> check them out on Instagram. Check them out on Hinge. Sebastian Canelli of across, across all platforms. Across all platforms. <laughs> Seb on baby on Twitter. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Robbie, this is beautiful. I'll, I'll miss you this week. I hope yeah. you have a nice week. I'm excited. All right, I'm excited for you too. Okay, and if you get too, I'm not drunk, gonna get into, get too crazy. Okay, good. I'm not gonna get too crazy. We don't need the listeners worrying about. No, I I can't believe I shared that story that's on the microphone, bro. but that's beautiful. I'm not gonna get too crazy. All right, this was wonderful. All right, uh, thank you all the hotties for uh, listening. Keep uh, calling in nine two nine nine hundred six three nine three. Uh, we're going to be playing those calls. We have a guest this week, but the following week, we're going to be doing another uh, call-in episode with the hotties. Um, yes. And, um, yeah, keep liking the uh, clips that we have. Keep sharing them. Uh, if it connects to you or people that you think will like them, uh, that's it. All right, Robbie, hit the fucking music. Music. <laughs>